in this video I'm going to go through the second lesson on building a housing module okay so this this is the bit I finished in lesson one that's the propulsion system so I need to move that out of the way so I've selected it I'm just going to drag it out of the way to the side there because I think I'm going to start building in the middle here okay so building a housing module which is going to look like this so make sure you read through the background information and we're going to move on okay building living quarters we want a tube so scrolling down here's a tube click place it on the work plane and resize it 80 by 80 whoops grab that one over here 80 I'm just gonna drag it that way and 18 centimeters tall so move that out of the way if I click this this square in the middle here that gives me the height so I can change that here press enter next step okay uh, we want a cone to place on top of the tube so mm -hmm. a cone 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 okay so I'm just gonna place it here and change the dimension so I want it 80 by 80 okay it needs to be 25 tall so I find the top square change that to 25 okay so it needs to come up be lifted up 18 so it will go over the top of the tube so I just wait for it to say 18 okay so it's 18 all right and then I'm going to select this object as well I want to align and I'm going to center them over the top of each other so I might I need to get to that little dot here okay so they're now aligned and I'll just drag them both across by pressing the right arrow so it's away from the other bit okay next we're going to add another cone and we can see by the diagram here that it's going to go underneath it so we can duplicate this top cone so duplicate so flip it 180 okay if we look at it it's now upside down and we want to get it so it is aligned underneath so I would say there okay so I now just have to align all of these so I'm actually going to select draw a square around the three objects make sure they're all selected and then I'm going to align them centrally like so okay that looks good let's just see if it matches that yes it does and then we go to the next step okay so we want to cut a hole through the housing so it means we need to get a cylinder on the work plane I think we might try that one because it's already transparent so I'm going to plonk this one here and 40 diameter and 100 tall
and a hundred tall. One hundred tall. Well, that's tall. Um, change it to a hole. Okay, so we need to use this arrow to drop it down to lower it to 40. I think here, 40. And we're going to select all of the shapes and align them. So we want this one and then we shall select. I'm going to go shift, shift, and then shift and select that last one. So then I can align them. All right, so I need to click this and then this here, and that will align them all centrally. Now it says group the shapes together and that will cut the hole through those shapes. So if we group them and if we click away we can see it's cut a hole through. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing now. Okay that looks strange but we'll work it out. Alright trim the housing module. Mm -hmm. Might actually move this other thing a little bit more out of the way. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to use the arrow upward or forward arrow key and get it right up out of the way there and over to here. Okay, so we want to place a box on the workplace, on the work plane, and size it to be 80 mil. So box place 80 by 80 by 80. 80. Mm -hmm. Eighty, and then we want eighty tall. Make sure we select what we're after. Eighty. Okay. Change the box to a hole. Well, I don't have to because when you select these ones, they're automatically a hole. Mhm. Mm uh, select the housing module and the box and align them vertically. Okay. So I'm just gonna drag this back this way. I want to select that which is now all grouped together and shift and select the box. I want to align them. So I need to find my central no I have to redo it because I missed that. So align Align them centrally that way. I'm just going to turn it around so I can access this dot. Okay, all right, that's step one. So click off it, click the box because we're going to have to lift the box up. So select, uh, use the black arrow on top of the housing module to lift the box upward 22 mil off the work. Plane. So we lift 22. So when that says 22, that's easier. Okay, how does that look? Mm -hmm. Does that look like that? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. duplicate the box by selecting duplicate in the edit menu. Okay, so might move her across, scroll in a little bit. I have just the box selected at the moment so I can duplicate it and then it says press D on the keyboard to move the new box to the work plane. So press D. Okay and it's lowered it. We can see that. Now we're going to use the arrow to lower the new box to 84 millimeters so that it sits four millimeters below the work plane. Okay so if I start to move this down and it says the 84, but I think they mean negative 84. So let's click it. Yep. Okay. And then that 
looks correct. Okay, and we can see that small gap there. So select all of the shapes and group them to trim the housing module. Okay, so we make sure we select this box, this, and this box. So we've got those three objects selected. We group them and it will cut and trim. So I go next. Okay, finish the housing ring. Okay, don't forget, read this information here. And then it says select the ring and change the colour to whatever you like. So I'm going to just leave it as purple, but you could, if you want, try some other colour. Maybe even multicolour, who knows. Um, then select the shape. And press D on the keyboard to lift the module onto the work plane. So if we press D, it's going to move it up so it's actually sitting flat on the plane. So press D while this is selected. And we can see it's moved it up nicely. Next. Okay, add the first docking port. Okay, so have a look what we've got to do. So it looks like we're going to make the this transparent so we can see and then situate the tube as shown okay so let's follow the instructions okay i'm going to click off that um i need to get my shapes back up and place the cylinder on the work plane and size it accordingly so we want it 10 mil by 10 by 15 tall okay select the cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees so it's laying on its side so we select the okay and 90 degrees so if I type 90 it's now got it lying like so Set the housing module ring to be a hole temporarily. So we need to select this and make it a hole so we can see inside it. Then select the ring and the cylinder and align them vertically. Then center it with the ring and align it to the minimum in the opposite direction to the, on the work plane. So I need to have a look at the picture again to have a look at. All right, so it's got to be aligned centrally around this area. So by clicking this one, and we also want to click it so it's centered here, and we want to make sure that it's up here. So we need to click this one. Okay, so let's with that one selected. I'm just going to drag it across. We select this as well. We press a line. Move that out of the way. So we center them this way. We center it this way. And we bring that tube right to the front here. Okay. So just replay the video if you've missed any of that. Okay, then we can go on to the next step. Okay, so it wants us to select the cylinder and rotate our view to be looking from the side. So we want to be looking at it from the side here. So I'm just going to drag her around like so. And unselect that. So let me just select the tube. All right, I've got the tube selected. Now let's see what it wants us to do. Press the left arrow on the keyboard 12 times. So that means we need to check this snap to grid should be at one millimeter. So just make sure you've got that. So each, each time you hit the arrow to the left, it will move one millimeter 
So while it's selected, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Done. Okay, go next. Mm -hmm. So we've got the cylinder selected. We're going to duplicate it. Okay, and then with the new cylinder selected and the ring, we're going to align them. So we're going to control select this and then have a look around. We want to align so that that tube now comes and aligns over this side. So we click that like so. All right, and that should match what this is showing here. Yep, and then no guesses here. We want to make sure we select this tube here and then use the arrow key to the right and move it 12, uh, 12 millimeters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, while well this cylinder is selected, I'm going to just move it this way and select the other cylinder with a shift and a click. And then I'm going to group them. So group just the two cylinders. Go to next. And then this is what we're aiming for. We're going to do what we did before and we're going to keep duplicating and changing the angle so we can build this structure. Okay, so we've got them selected. Select the group docking ports and duplicate them. So we duplicate them and then we rotate them. So we need to find the this rotation point here which is below so click it click and then click here 45 and when you do that they duplicate they've duplicated and they rotate they're selected so duplicate rotate 45 okay that's cool duplicate and I think that's it. Okay, go to next. And we're just about done. Okay, so we finish it by okay, clicking the housing ring and change it from a hole to a colour that you like. So I want some sort of crazy colour, I guess. Okay, it's just going to be purple. So select all the shapes and group them into a single object. Okay, so. I'm just going to move it so I can make sure I grab the whole lot. So I'm going to draw a no, okay, draw a square around the lot to select them all, and then I'm going to group them. But the problem is, we know the colours are going to change, don't we? As soon as it does that, okay, so. Okay, here's something. Change the color of the housing module to multicolor by selecting the color selection tool and checking multi. Mm, okay, so that's what that does. So click that and multicolor. Okay, that means I should be able to do that as well. That's what happened. Okay, all right. Anyway, I can't go back and fix that. I'll fix that one later. Okay, so go next, we're up to the last bit. So prepare for oh, 3D printing. Okay, we're not going to be 3D printing. We're actually hopefully going to export our model so that we can upload it into our virtual reality solar system that we're going to build. Okay, so we don't have to worry about step 14 in this case so we can just say done and that's it we'll go on to the next one in the next video